Hello, welcome to this video where I'm going to talk about the changes that Oracle did to their pricing model. Uh, they recently kind of announced that they're going to do a shift in how their pricing works, uh, where in the past it used to work based on the, the actual desktop users and the processor that you were using as well uh, for, for Java. Now it's actually completely shifted to where they're going to take a look at your overall company employees and give you a quote based on that. Now, we've already seen a lot of people that are concerned about how that will affect their actual licensing pricing, uh, seeing as they might have a company that has you know, 2,000 employees, but they only have 50 people that actually are using uh, the Java de development kit, um, and therefore their pricing is going to increase substantially without them actually changing anything in regards to how they use or how many people even use the Java product itself. Um, so with that in mind, it can have serious effects on your actual company, your organization, um, but also how you manage your IT. Um, seeing as there are alternatives available there, uh, namely the Open Java Development Kit, something which is open source, and therefore you're not, you know, you don't have to pay the new license fee that Oracle is kind of pushing on everyone. Uh, it's something that we've seen that a lot of people have interest in and in how do we how do we migrate and what are the steps for us to take and then how do we start that process. Um, and that's why you know, I'm, I'm here to give you a better idea of how you can actually start your migration process um, and, and how you can really get, that, get the ball rolling so that you can avoid the high license fees that they're going to start imposing soon. So to do that, uh, obviously, the basis of a migration is knowing what you currently have. And that's where LandSuper comes in. That's where we're able to help and give you a clear overview of which installations, where do you have Java Development Kit installed, so that you also know what you need to start migrating, how many devices, how many servers do you need to migrate, so that you have a baseline and you can start planning your migration correctly. So to give you an overview of that, let's head into LandSuper itself and take a look. So here in LandSuper, I've gone over and headed to the report area where you can find all of the reports that we have that you can use to get specific information from your IT environment. Uh, now, in order to specifically go to the Java information that we're looking at, uh, I'm going to go to the software category where under installed software, you'll find a new audit that's named the Oracle Java Development Kit Audit. Um, now, this specific audit will give you an overview of all of the machines that we found uh, the Java development kit installed on, um, whether it be um, the actual Windows version, Linux version, uh, or even if, uh, if it does recognize the Mac version, that as well. Um, so you can have a complete overview of all of the devices in your environment that actually have Java development kit installed on it. That way you have that baseline that you know, okay, I need to start migrating all of these devices. You can start planning on when you do the migration, uh, depending on how many assets, et cetera, you have as well. And if you want more information about these devices, we already give you quite a lot of information. So you can see you have the software name, the version, um, but also what domain it's in, uh, what type of asset it is, and you know what user is mostly using it. Um, now, if you want even more information, you can always you know, click through on the name itself to go to the individual assets page where you can find all the details such as hardware, you know, other software that might be installed, um, and then a lot more additional information as well. So with that, that should give you all of the tools really to start on your Oracle migration process so you can kind of avoid those high license fees that are trying to impose on everyone. With that, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.